Now to another story generating a lot of buzz that is some of you asking sincere or scam. We're talking about packages seemingly from the Buffalo Water Board arriving on some Buffalo doorsteps. Pictures of these packages are making the rounds on social media. There's a Buffalo Water sticker on the box and a water filter pitcher inside. A letter lays out the Water Authority's plan to replace water service lines in certain neighborhoods. It says the filter can provide quality water while work is being done on the pipes. Now this puts the Water Authority back in the spotlight months after it emerged that fluoride has been missing from city water for nearly eight years. Now our Kristen Moran has been following the story since January and the efforts to get fluoride back in the water by the end of this year. The Water Board has another meeting tomorrow, which Kristen will attend, and of course she'll let you know what happens. But tonight, Kristen is looking into these packages to find out how many are being sent out and what it means if you receive one. If you've received this in the mail or know anyone who has recently, it probably made you think twice about what's going on. Just like the people on this Buffalo Reddit thread, a lot of users writing they think it's a scam from the Buffalo Water Board. But it turns out it's no scam. So I think the water authority is trying to get people's attention by sending them stuff. Delaware District Council Member Joe Farrelletto tells me the mail you may be receiving is part of a larger project by Buffalo Water. They're going to be putting in new main water lines. In his district, neighbors who live on Tacoma, Russell or Rand can expect construction soon. Chairman and chair of the water board, O.J. McFoy, tells me neighborhoods on the west side and south Buffalo can expect the same. He says in total, this particular project will impact more than 800 homes, which is why you may have received a Brita pitcher and filter like this. We want to make sure that everyone is protected while we do uh, this construction work. When construction begins and workers notice you have a lead water line, McFoy says Buffalo Water will replace it with copper thanks to federal funding. Those service lines, which are the responsibility of the homeowners, um, because we have a major construction project, we are replacing those at no cost to our customers. McFoy says there are more than 68,000 water lines in the city, so expect to see more construction on these aging pipes. He says the city has a significant number of lead pipes, and as of right now, they've only replaced around 1,500. We have a ways to go to make sure that we eradicate all of the lead service lines that we do. Krista Moran, 7 News, Buffalo.